I um, don't think I really knew what to expect from the kinds of people that would be in Oxford. I don't think I really had a view of what a typical Oxford person was. Um, but I came from a small village in Devon. So I think in terms of the diversity of people that I've met in my life, it was quite narrow. Um, and so Oxford was a great opportunity to just meet a bigger range of people than I'd come across before. Um, so I went to a really small community primary school um, and then a mixed independent secondary school. Um, and I really enjoyed my time there, but I found that coming to Oxford gave me a much better opportunity to meet people from around the world, people who are interested in much more, a much bigger variety of kind of extracurricular stuff. Um, I think, weirdly, the fact that it's such a fast-paced situation, it made it easier because you weren't thinking about how different it is. Like every now and again you do go, oh, actually, this, this is so different to what I'm used to, that it's a bit scary but I think because we've, we've always got something to do if it be work or something outside then I think like that's really helpful in just getting used to everything. Applying was a terrifying process because I had to do it so much earlier than all my other friends because in, like in Sweden you apply in April which is a lot lot later than October the previous year like I had to uh, so that felt very rushed because I decided sort of last minute to apply as well two weeks before the due date um, but I thought when when you arrived here, I thought everybody was really friendly. Like I didn't think that there was some sort of like stigma being an international student because we had it wasn't like I was the only one either. There are many many societies for literally every single nationality and religion you can possibly imagine, as well as like different sports. So that sort of welcomed you in because you can sort of get involved with the things you do. 